All right, everybody, welcome to Group Business Coaching. It's the second week of December. We promise that we are going to wrap up 2020 nice and strong, no matter what, with a grand finale, COVID or no COVID or whatever the excuse may be, it's just an excuse because absolutely we have the resources, the power, the beautiful mind, the wonderful heart to succeed. So, and I love everything you've been working on this year, all your businesses and ventures, and you've been making tremendous progress and uh, there's more to do, but we are going to um, celebrate all the wins and have even more wins and start planning more wins for 2021 as well. So with that, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Dr. Elena Pezzini, and let's hear from our Super Achiever member and their successes during the first week of December. Um, so here we go. Let's, um, since uh, I think we can hear from everybody. Okay, so we're just going around Robin, and I'll share as well. Um, let's, uh, let's start with uh, one win from last week, and maybe anything that you want to... Um, if you know, um, address differently moving forward. Okay, who's ready to start? Unmute. I can go. Yes, beautiful. Thank you. So I have set up my bank account. Yes. And I have made Christmas cookies as promised last <laughs> Nice. And I'm very happy about it. <laughs> Great. Good job. Good job, my dear. Keep those up. I wish I were there in the zone or help myself to a cookie, but I have to just uh, enjoy it virtually vicariously through you. <laughs> One day we will. Um, one day we will finally get together in person and uh, share share everything, share everything, share um, our gifts. So thank you so much, Yolanda. And who's ready to go next? I can go. Mm -hmm. um, my win is that I heard from our mayor's office mm -hmm. and yeah. have an appointment scheduled on January 12th for a phone conversation. Oh, that's good. Great. Yeah. Uh, that's and good. also, I heard from the guy who has written the book, Dan Butner, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Blue Zones, because I had on their website, I had said match the, match the effort or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so he communicated by email and gave a lot of resources and finally got to talk to him today, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh. So that my win. Congratulations, nice. Very nice. Thank you, Dr. Varada. And let's hear from Gary. Uh, for me, this last week, um, I picked up a new software upgrade job that uh, came out of the blue. Uh, so that uh, helps with the end of finishing things off at the end of the year. So that was probably the main, main one for me. Um, still working through um, making uh, checkpoints in my personal projects. I've worked out how I plan to do that. And now I just need to uh, put it in place. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you feel good fun. about it? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Wonderful. Keep it up, okay? Perfect. And let's hear from Michael. All righty. Well, I've had a great week again. Um, I've been yes. fixing up the depot. Um, so all my storage of materials and things. I've done some great big jobs. I had a successful quote on a new one in Hawthorne. Uh, I'm actually headed there today for 10 a.m. Um, $350 initial three-hour overhaul stint and then I'm going to quote up on everything else needed mm -hmm. uh, huge house big people so and um, the business is going great I've got a, a big job planned every day for the next six days yes so 
I'm just had going really well. Last week's session motivated me. The mastermind was awesome. Yeah, great. Yes, and, and thank you guys all for participating. Thank you all. Fantastic. Great. Um, okay, yeah, for me it was uh, a good week as well. Um, despite all the craziness with, with COVID and uh, more lockdowns and more business restrictions, but um, you know, there is always a way to succeed no matter what, no matter what, no matter what. So, um, so I stay focused on what was under my control and um, was able to move forward. There you go. So, okay, thank you so much. And okay, let's set an intention uh, while I play this obnoxious music. <laughs> <laughs> playing all at once. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I'll try again. One, okay. So let's set one intention for this second week of uh, powerful intention for, for, for this second week, okay? So it could be um, a feeling you want to be thinking, you want to be feeling a thought you want to be thinking, or it could be something inspiring you, someone inspiring you. So, um, yeah, so for, for me, it's going to be the power of the end of the year and the holidays. You know, we have to be creative even uh, this year, but we'll always remember this year. So just, um, you know, I can see people go, go all out to do some special blessings remotely <laughs> or, or still um, drop off some food to the less lucky ones and... Um, and nice lights that are, you know, make, make it festive. So people are, are being very creative and they're maintaining the spirit of the holidays, no matter what. And I appreciate that. That's uh, my intention to join the spirit. And what's yours? Let's hear from uh, in alphabetical order, Dr. Divki. Mine is mainly focus actually. And I am into charity. There is a food bank collection in our neighborhood. So that would be Getting. nice yeah perfect perfect beautiful nice spirit veron what's uh, your intention my intention is keep up the momentum i think it's to keep up the energy and the momentum uh, in both work and in uh, leisure yeah okay so be it wonderful and for you gary uh, for me, it's energy. Um, I made a visit to a naturopath last week and uh, highlighted some uh, some food uh, disruptions and some other elements. So that's the focus for me over the next week. Mm -hmm. Great. Nice. Let's do it. And uh, Michael? I'm focusing on synergy with uh, customers uh, and particularly dividing bigger projects up into this side of Christmas and the other side of Christmas and finding people that want things right in two years time rather than two weeks time. So I'm going to be building bigger pictures and synergy with customers and contacts. Great. Great. Okay. Where's Yolanda? And Yolanda. Okay, one of my focuses is my two sisters with the diagnosis of Alzheimer. I will yeah. take care of them and make them visit them or call them and take care of them. And as my, up until now, my financial situa situation is rather stressed, mm. I will see what gifts I can make myself. For example, I have many candles, rest of candles, and I want to melt them and make new candles. So to distribute joy. Okay, you can figure out a way. Um, you've had bigger challenges, I know, in life, Yolanda, that you solved, yes? Yes. That's right. 
Okay. All right. So let's stay focused on the intention and manifest it. And uh, keep in mind it's the end of the year. So there may be some loose ends to tie um, before we start planning the new year nice and strong, which we will. So as of now, second week of the year, keeping in mind where we are, how far we have come and where we're going, right? So the big spectrum of life, which one out of um, the five areas of life would you say is your um, main focus this week? Let me see it in the chat box. And uh, for me, it's gonna be health again. Uh, Veronica, career. Okay, great. Yolanda, career. Fantastic. Michael, yeah, health. Very nice. Very nice. And Gary, health. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so we got, we got health and career are the winners this week. So, all right. So let's... Um, hone in, okay, and be precise, precise, precise with our intentions. So why don't we do a little bit of visualizations to get there? Just uh, close your eyes, relax in your chair, take some long, deep breaths in and out. That's right. Keep doing so and imagine yourself on a tropical beach of your liking where the weather is, is perfect. That's right. And you hear the tranquility in the air. The air is clean, crisp, and fresh. That's right. You hear the rolling of the waves going in and out, in and out, in and out. Just like you're breathing, that's right. You hear nice, lively sounds from birds, the wind, soft wind uh, on the leaves, and um, you hear the nice soft sound from you walking on this warm, sandy, white beach. That's right. And you just feel at peace with yourself. That's right. You know that you are exactly where you are meant to be in life. You are grateful for everything that has happened so far because you know it was part of a big scheme in life to get you exactly where you need to be. So there is need to be only confidence and no other feelings, just confidence that you are exactly where you are meant to be for your highest good and you also feel at peace while you are one with this beautiful beach ocean and exotic fruits all around you you know that you are safe and protected going forward for the many many years decades to come that's right you're going to live a long, joyous, peaceful life on purpose. That's right, on purpose, because you now are getting clearer and clearer with your big purpose in the big scheme of life. That's right. And with that confidence, you now breathe it all in because you're going to remember that this confidence and tranquility all throughout the week and the month. And you're now ready 
to do your exercise. You're going to be precise with what you want to accomplish next within your health and career um, relations for Dr. Divki. Okay, so um, you can think short term, long term, or both. You can close your eyes, dance, move, stop the video if you need to for a moment, or just journal in here or in the chat box or on your uh, notepad. And go. Right. Okay. So one person will share with me and um, the other ones are going to go into breakout rooms and share with, with their uh, success partner. Okay. So let's see. Michael, you can do it with me. Okay. Uh, Gary and Varada and um, Veron and Yolanda and go. Mike, stay here. All righty. Cool. Okay, I'm all yours. Yeah, well, um, I had a few discoveries during the meditation, which was really well I liked that one again. It was quite expanded today. Um, I think that 
what's I've discovered something's missing. It's not really about recreation, health. It's about balance, really. Balance is just coming through to me. And it's about being a person that isn't the gardener, maybe a little bit the musician, or I think that for me to, to, to look at health, I have to look holistically at what I think life's worth when I'm not working and when I'm not doing anything. And rather than the, the things I tend to do, which is recreational stuff to, to chill me out and re relieve pain, but I'm looking more at, um, you know, something really not me, like going to the movies or um, something. Uh, I, I like the idea of more um, trips to gardens, you know, like a tourist in the hills. We've got hills near here with some nice gardens. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking that it's a lifestyle shift and it's a lifestyle shift with putting energy and investment and planning into uh, balanced, healthy, fun things that take me right away from it all. That's sort of what I'm thinking. Sure. Okay. But do okay. you want to tell me about your um, your health um, focus for the week? Oh, okay. Very good. Um, yeah, you'll be able to, um, to hone in a bit more, okay? But... Yes. Next steps, but I'd, um, good realization. Good realization. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Um, with health. With health, um, I've I've had um, to make choices this month in terms of not not to travel, not join a gym. Um, and, and, you know, they're very conservative choices given COVID, you know, a lot of people are joined, are still, you know, it's not banned traveling and uh, joining certain sports, uh, yoga in a studio, all of that, you know, of course with protocol, but I chose not to just, just to be a bit more conservative and protective of um, myself and others. So the challenge though, is that you have, you, you know, you have, um, you sort of have to coach yourself, right? Because uh, you don't have accountability. So, so, uh, and you know, and with travel, all those uh, stimulations that you get recharge from traveling, that's also gone. So you have to use uh, other creative methodologies like <laughs> virtual travel or, or somewhere really local where you can just walk. Um, and I you know even now with the Sierra mountains here and the big canyons, you have to, uh, you can you cannot be spontaneous to do a hike. You have to book and you have to book ahead of time. And sometimes it's already filled up. So there's nowhere to go. So, um, so I think being creative with, with my health, um, is going to require planning. Of course, I'm going to stay put and um, and I trust that uh, I'll uh, I'll find the I'll find the discipline, yeah. With uh, and I'm enrolling some friends to hold me accountable as well. Yeah, right. Well, it's it's fabulous. I I love your posts. I haven't been on Facebook much for ages, but all of those you know climbing up hills and I know riding bikes and walking. You um you seem to really um sort of benefit and shine when you've got that much going on, and so I definitely can see the challenge psychologically adapting to to such a shift in the routine yes. um yeah i think virtual is a great liberation for me it, it i once saw a tarot card or a reading card and it had a person in a prison with with bars all around them and the card was called freedom and there was this small bit of light just coming out of the corner of the window and the, the, the reading that went with this card was all about how you really can free, feel free no matter where you are or what's happening because so much, it's not like 50-50 or 70-30, it's like 99-1. We don't realise that everything really is internal, all of our feelings, our experiences, our visuals. So it's just about not needing the proof, I guess, you know, to 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 live that and feel it and then let, let that come out like the roots of the the tree and the system of our being come from that. So there's so much nurture, just swimming in it and it's perfectly legit. I think it's what we're supposed to be doing. Nice, cool. thank you. Great, great card, great analogy. Good image, good um, metaphor. All right, everybody, good job. Give yourself lots of love, especially now during the holidays. Great, so, all right, um, Yolanda, I'll have you explain uh, this next step. Believe it or not, everybody, 
this thing keeps popping up. One second. Do you guys do you guys see uh, this thing that keeps popping up? It says a software update is required. Do you guys see that? No, I, I don't see that. Okay, no. so it's on my end. Okay. All right. So Yolanda has been with us the longest. The longest. Um, I've known Yolanda since um, 2010. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. We're celebrating our decade, darling. So. Yes. I think it's 2011. <laughs> yes. Yes. There you go. So I'll have you explain this step for people who well, do it from home and watch the replay. Go ahead. Go for it. Um, do I speak just for me? Uh, explain the step. And then, uh, yeah, and then we'll do I mean, I, ju I, I just can yeah, speak yeah. for me how lives will change when I achieve what I want to achieve. I don't know for the others. So, the, the process, just the, the process of this part of the, the session, how it works, what it is. Oh, of this ex explain the just the exercise, then we will do the exercise. Now I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay you can just read it read it you know i like to i like guys uh to make you do it so i have time to sip my water so <laughs> now I, i'm really lost now <laughs> that's it do you see this do you see the screen the slide? I see. yeah so this exercise <laughs> i just wanted you to read it for those for everybody um or say it with your own words, because uh, sometimes people cannot be here, so they watch the replay, so they do it from home, right? So we have to give them instructions. So is how will your life and others, and the life of others change, change when you achieve what you just described to your partner, okay? So it's it basically, forces you to visualize a bit more, to give more details, more details, more precision to, um, to how far you've got today with your focus, okay? I'll give you a moment and please start. Great. Okay, let's take a share. Uh, ladies first. Let's take one lady.
<laughs> Elena, I have a question. Yeah. This doesn't change from week to week. It's always the same for me. That's do fine. I, do I, th maybe I do not understand it correctly, but it's week after week, I write the same because it doesn't change. Do I, is there something that I miss? Well, um, so, uh, so the, the actions you do take every week should get you closer and closer, okay? So you can hone in a bit, a bit, a bit further. So if your concept is to uh, start your coaching business, you know, um, then, then maybe you, the micro goal would be to get your first client, right? And you just focus on that. Once you accomplish that, then you um, add something else like getting the next um client or so you have to make sure you make it as attainable as possible that's why i have you guys think think and strategize short term and long term but you have to have some measurable mini mini goals that you take actions towards every week okay so it's not i mean the way i understand this question is when i achieve what i want to achieve then what changes for me and for others and this doesn't change okay that's fine then you can uh, yeah uh, yeah this the answer to this question can be the same until you achieve exactly what you want you can just give a little more details every week would you like to share why don't you go ahead and share could i have a quick word here elena yeah please all right for me it's about this one particularly helps me with strategy and tactic because i know what i'm trying to achieve as a business but I might be struggling. Like last week, I didn't make much money and I got tired. And I have to think in the session, what's going to change that? Is it more sleep or is it someone lends me $5,000 or is it something? And then I think, okay, what am I going to do? Do I fix the truck or do I fix the the side of the driveway? And, and now I look at this. If I, if I fix the side of the driveway, then how will it be on the other side of it? I'll be able to come and go quicker between jobs. I would be, I'd be able to finish up the day easier because I fixed the driveway. So like Elena says, you drill it down to what, what can you do next that's little, get a customer or two customers. How will you feel and what will it be like when you've done that? And how will things change for you when you've done that? It's, it's about achieving the first possible choice in your situation and imagining how it's going to be when that, that's achieved. And I think it's the crux of the whole session because it is interesting we do it every week. It's about, it's about getting movement on our situation and feeling that movement from what, what it's going to do for us at the end of the week and after we've achieved it. Does that help? Well, then I think it's just this short-term um, achievement. Yep. It's about but the short-term on... achievement. I didn't uh, understand the question like this. I thought it's the final, but uh, if it's the short-term goal, then of course it changes. Is it the short-term goal? It, it's a new and fresh look at what's not working from either our relationships or the way we're managing money or the way we're managing our energy levels or the way we're chasing our goal. Whichever section of the, of the map is frustrating us and we're really not getting there because this is like an unblocking session I see it with the group and everything we just have a look at what can fix that block you know it might be sense of achievement in your situation because I know you've achieved a lot in the last 12 months six months just in the last two months so much so maybe for you you could look at seeing more counting your blessings more and counting your achievements more and looking at all that stuff you've got to do next less for a minute and just building up your energy on what you have achieved. And then in this section, I would say, uh, you know, to myself, how will I feel after I've managed to realize how much I've done? And then, you know, you won't feel so. So it's about picking an area of everything for us that's going to really correct any sense of not achievement or not, and you know, even changing the goal if it's not working, that sort of a, a thing. I hope that helps. Yeah, so to summarize and answer your question, thank you, Michael. Yolanda, um, it's, and then we move on. It's both in, 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 in coaching and with your clients, all of you, all of you, you always have to help them think 
short term and long term, short term and long term, because you know we live a long life, and mm -hmm. so we can't just have narrow focus like a horse with the blind spots. We we have to plan for a long life. So short term, you know, because we still need to live. We can't sink sink or swim, but also keep in mind the short term. So when you answer these questions, you, you can do both. So do you wanna try, although I hate that word, try to answer it short term, what it will look like for you? Well, my short term um, goal is to register now for Zoom and it will give me a relief because I'm <laughs> working on that quite for some time and it would, really give me a relief nice and uh but it doesn't mean anything for anyone else it just does it means just for me yeah no i i, I agree but that's huge and that's uh, technology uh there is something else i have to do for zoom today i have to watch a tutorial <laughs> video because they just change a feature not for this session but for, for another uh, project i'm doing okay. yeah so just know that we're all on the same boat, but good job. I'll also feel a sense of relief with you. So thank you very much. You're welcome, darling. Okay, good job, you guys. And uh, let's um, give yourself a nice more love. Okay, and uh, who would like to explain this step? I can do that. Go for it, Gary. Thank you. Uh, awesome. So this is a new strategy or approach that will get to get you to the goal that you or the area of focus that you identified earlier. And remembering that some of us are working in different areas and that can change uh, from week to week. That's another thing to think about. So a new strategy that is going to help you get to where you need to get to the something that you may not have tried before. Beautifully said, thank you. So be creative everybody, don't censor, don't filter. And um, yeah, I'll give you some time to reflect and then I'll put you in the breakout room. And start.
All right, so one person will do it with me, share, and uh, the, other the others will do it with their partner. So, all right, let's do um, Gary and Michael, uh, Varada and Veronica. Yolanda, you can do it with me, so stay here and go. Did I do it? Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, I put, I put uh, sorry, sorry. I, let's see, I have to redo it. Assign. All right. So, Zoom. Okay. Gary, how's today? It's going to be like 15 degrees by 2 p.m. That was a filler. I can't believe it, it's so cold. Okay, perfect. All right, Yolanda. So, okay. So what is um, your focus next? Then we give it a timeline. But uh, first, first, uh, what is the, the your next focus? Let's summarize. Excuse me. So my first um, thing is really setting up Zoom. And what I also started to, to do to, full, um, to get things done right away, not to postpone them. Yeah. Because I, this is some weak point of me up until now. And I have decided that I want to to do the things I have to do right away. And also um, today I have started with the seven week tapping program uh, on money and personal fulfillment uh, with Nick Ordner. I have bought that in September, but I just didn't do it. And so today I started and I want to do it now for the next seven weeks every day. Nice. To get this subconscious you know, the subconscious pro, uh, paradigms sorted out, that they yeah. don't stay in the way for me. Beautiful, very good, yes. enjoy that, enjoy the tapping. Mm -hmm. And um, so with Zoom, is anybody helping you or are you doing it by yourself? No, I have to do it on my own, yeah. Okay. By myself. Okay, so as far as I know, there's not much to set up. Um, no? Yeah, you, you, if you don't have, uh, is you sign up if you have not yes. signed up yet no no i'm not yet and it's it's free for um unless they've changed it it's free for 45 minutes at a time if you want more time at a time then you have to pay a little bit like 10 bucks a month or so yeah i think i and, want that and but you can start with the free version see how you like it okay mm -hmm. and then they can always upgrade you but you just go to zoom.us and um mm -hmm. And you create a sign up. It'll prompt you through it. You don't have to download anything from. No. Yeah. So it's easier. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want to do now. I want to do this this week. Okay. Great. Great. And of course, then uh, I will. I will work on the vision workshop. You know, we have vision workshops that we can offer. Uh, different lengths. So I want to to ex some, uh, train myself with um, holding a vision workshop. And I want to record myself on video um, so that I see how, how it comes over, you know, and how I am and how comfortable I feel with it. Yeah, absolutely. The more you do it, the more <laughs> comfortable. Yes. <laughs> nice. Um, and yeah, you get you you get to yeah I know you will you start and then you you get better and better you'll improve everything like you know you're definitely gonna need to improve the audio as you know because it, it yeah yeah it didn't I I wrote okay. again today it just doesn't call me back yeah so and I can't do it myself <laughs> he said it could be in something in the in the PC or yeah that's okay you you get through it yes you, I hope so. 
<laughs> so maybe what I do is when I have signed up for Zoom, then I have a Zoom meeting with him, then I, he will hear it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yes. I think that's what I'm going to do. Good idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it gives him an idea. Yeah, of what it could be. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He used to be our technical manager and he's very good, I must say. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he yeah. has a hundred percent yeah. job and it's probably one or two of two things though. It's either your computer or your headset. It it does it with both, you know. Mm -hmm. When I have the headset, you hear it too. And I have not a headset right now. I have just the mic. Then it's the computer. Yeah. Then it's the computer. Maybe it must be the computer. Mm -hmm. I think How so. old is your computer? Well, maybe three years or so. Ah, okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. No, 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 no. Not so old. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's not such an old PC. And it's a good one. It's HP, so uh, yeah, and it's not some weird <laughs> name. So that this is my this is my um, intention. Okay, good. You you'll make it happen. I know you will. How are um, things in Switzerland with the whole um, COVID situation? Well, we have a lot of cases, and um, they. They force people to, uh, I mean, the, the governments, you know, the, of each canton mm -hmm. to, to make the things even uh, tighter, mm. you know, restaurants in one canton, all restaurants are closed. Wow. Yeah, since Friday. And uh, that's, that's how it is. And some other cantons do it on their own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, stay safe. Stay safe. You too. Is Thank it you. is it difficult where you live in Las Vegas? Uh, um, no, here uh, things are open at twenty five percent. In other states, they're all they're all closed. Like California, okay. everything is closed. So I think it's harder on businesses in some states, but we don't have as many people. Um, yeah. I think that's probably why. You know, places like Italy, they're so dense with people. Yes. And, yeah, they don't know how to manage it. Hopefully this uh, vaccine will do something soon. Uh -huh. Everybody give me 10. Well done, well done. Okay. And uh, all right, step four, who would like to explain it? I go. Go for it, Veron. Good job. Right. Good job. I like your enthusiasm. Don Leonard likes it too. We talked about, about you this morning. Oh, I think the next step is we, after we know what, what we want to work on, so is what is the first uh, action we want to take because action means everything. So what is the next action uh, in the... Um, 48 hours because the uh, action will, will keep the momentum going. Very good, very good. All right, so some fast paced music for you to um, identify your first action and the time you are going to do it and complete it. So I wanna know both. Once you've got it, put it in the chat box so that uh, we'll remember next week and start. I'll do the same.
All right, good job. What have we got here, Michael? Okay, here we go. Going uh, to grab to grab um, your partners to do a Google session. A Google session to to like a mastermind, exploring cool things. Cool things yeah. about what? About fun or health? Yeah, like um, a virtual, like a virtual um, travel. Just sort of maybe look up yeah. some. Uh, place yeah. we could go to that's two hours away or something we could hire and bring it around here or together for the day just yeah. some really different ways to spend time so it's recreation but it's health because it's healthy to get away from that with from everything else from the the, the boringness sure. very good very good very creative sounds like you enjoy and trust them and vice versa enjoy have fun they're on top to an experienced property friend. Okay. Okay, great. Yolanda, sign up for Zoom. Yes, you can do it. You can do it. Uh, very good. Gary, review material. Ah, yeah, by the naturopath. Yeah, yeah, fun, fun. Yeah. Uh, let us know what he or she says, okay? So we can learn from it as well. Very nice. Great actions, everybody. So, right, um, Yolanda, Yolanda, who are we missing? Ah, Dr. Dipke got off. Okay, I think she had to go. Okay, all right. Um, ah, okay, she has dinner with her husband today. Okay. She has early dinner. Oh yeah, it's almost five for her in the afternoon. She's excused. All right, pat your back. Good job, good job. Very nice, my friend. So this deserves uh, both commitment, which I know you do have, and a nice reward. Nice reward. So, yeah. Um, great. My, my reward is going to be painting. And here's my commitment to you. And myself, very good. Let's see yours. Painting, painting, Okay, Michael, barbecue, beautiful, very nice. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. Now, Gary, you're not allowed to put red wine. <laughs> Roast dinner, okay, for Gary. You can still have red wine, it just can't be your reward this time. Yeah. They're all crossed uh, it out. Pearls. Wow, fancy, fancy. Okay, great. Good job, everybody. Uh, Yolanda, what about you? More cookies? <laughs> yes, more cookies, but I, I also wrote it in the chat. Continue reading the book of Napoleon Hill's Inc. and Grow Rich. Okay, just press enter, press enter, because it didn't come through. Or maybe you sent it to somebody privately. Oh. Yeah, it went through to me, actually. Ah. <laughs> okay, good job, everybody. Make sure you do um, calendar all of this, okay? Make sure you invite your loved ones to this call so they can hold you accountable. And um, let's really make it a memorable, successful and fun second week. We are wrapping up the year nice and strong. I'll make sure of that, and I know you'll do the same. So enjoy every step of the way. Let's let it go with um, a strong word of um, a positive word of uh, a feeling or a thought. And um, hear what comes up for me. We can do it. What about you?
Yolanda, very good. Uh, yes, we can. Michael Joy, living the dream. Wonderful. Gary, energetic. Good job, everybody. And Veron, energetic as well. All right. And propagate that wonderful energy to, to your loved ones as well throughout the week. And enjoy. If you need anything, reach out. And looking forward to celebrating more successes and having more fun. Enjoy, my friend. Big virtual hug. <laughs> Ciao. Well done. Have a great week, everyone. Thank Bye. you. You too. Yes. Have a great time. And you. Nice one. Good to see you all again. All the best. All the best. Bye. Bye.